What was it like? We, we've written about it, what it was like watching that game. What's it like playing in a game like that? And, and, and kind of having that player's view. Um, it felt like a movie. Uh, to be honest, one of those things that you kind of see, you know, ESPN or in different movies where you're like, man, if this happened, it'd be pretty cool. And then actually, you know, when it comes to it, you know, just a lot of different missed emotions, um, you know, ups and downs, um, different momentum shifts. And, you know, it was just, it was a cool experience. And uh, one of the best games I've, I've been a part of, you know, my whole career, you know, playing football. So if you had written the script, is this the way you would have written the movie or, or would it have been a little different? It would probably been a little different. Uh, you know, coming out of third quarter, I think we could have, if I was writing a script, you know, you know, blew the game away. But uh, at the end of the day, it was, it was a fun game. You know, Louisville was a great team and they, they fought hard to the very end. And, um, you know, it was one of the, you know, one of those memories that, you know, not just for the players, but the fans and, you know, this universe will never forget. Was it kind of a helpless feeling for you on the sideline, like the Notre Dame? Um, yeah, we just, I mean, we just all have faith and, and trust in one another um, in all three phases, you know, special teams, defense and offense, and everyone just had to do their job and do their part. Um, you know, Louisville had the, had the momentum and, you know, they were just, you know, on the roll and, and, and they were, you know, feeling, you know, themselves and, you know, and just having that, you know, confidence in what they were doing and, and making plays. So, um, you know, it was just, we had to do our part and when we needed plays, players made plays. This was the first time you've had to uh just be great you know just do what we do we practice this, you know at least two times a week i know we practice it so many times in fall camp uh, moments like this you know that's why coach sweeney put, put us in um, situations like this during you know practice uh, because you never know when the the time is going to come when we need it and so it was it was you know pretty much simple for us, you know, just go down and do what we do. Um, you know, we, we during the game, we scored in, you know, 25 or I think 25 seconds twice. So, um, you know, we can score in seven minutes if we just everyone do their job and just execute. And, um, you know, that's what we did. And, um, you, know, every, you know, we just told each other, hey, let's be great and, and just, you know, make this moment uh, be special. And that's what we did. First from a few players the other night, they would have rather put it away earlier. Do you find something out about your team when the chips are down and when, when you do have to go on the last minute, last five minute drive to win? Uh, you can, but you know we, we all know who we are. Um, this is what we work for. Um, it, it wasn't nothing that we was gonna you know find out about this team. Um, you know this team is very special, and you know it's a heart of you know heart of champions. And, and people are not just gonna you know lay up because the other team is is getting hot and, and have the, all the momentum. Uh, we had the you know the heart and the mindset to be great, and that's what we wanted to do. Um, you know, we made a lot of mistakes, but at the same time, that you know, that didn't let a, let that affect us and what we wanted to do. Um, we just at the end of the day find a way to win. We can tell from your body language that you know from the time you went down the field, you were really amped up. The atmosphere was special. Did you was that a foreshadowing of what would happen in the uh, middle of the game? Did you even think about that, or was it just like go out there and just get through? Um. No, it was just, you know, the whole game was just very exciting. You know, a lot of people was pumped up. It's a, it's a big time game. And, um, you know, they're a very great team and, and we're a good team too. So um, it was just a lot of people watching. So, you know, who wouldn't be pumped up for this game, um, you know, throughout the you know whole 60 minutes. As far as scheme, execution, performance, those types of things, what's the biggest difference for this offense from, from Saturday's game against Georgia Tech than those first few weeks when there was certainly a lot more consternation for the offense? Uh, there's no scheme. You know, we do what we do. At the end of the day, you know, players got to make plays. You know, schemes and, and, and things like that not going to win you the game. You know, those players executing and making plays when the time comes and when the opportunity comes, that's, that are the, those are the plays that are things that, you know, win the game. And that's what we did in the, you know, that final drive. Um, you know, guys just, you know, executing and making plays. and. Uh, being, you know, ball players and having fun, and you know that's probably the only difference. You know, people are just making plays. Your first three drives the other night, uh, I think you were one for six. Lamar also had a slow start. Was it just a matter of settling in, or, or yeah, just 
you know, I just things wasn't you know clicking. You know things aren't always going to start off as good as you want it to be. Um, you know you just got to find that that thing, and you know those guys on defense are you know scholarship too, and they're you know preparing and watching film. So at the same time, you know you just guys got to you know connect and, and make plays for you. It's exciting as last Saturday was. Is it going to be difficult for the team now moving forward, and maybe a you know a less exciting atmosphere coming up? Is it? Are you guys going to have to work hard to put Saturday behind you and look forward? Um, no, because you know each game is very exciting. You only get twelve opportunities to play, and uh, you work so hard over the off season and, and throughout the week to you know prepare for those twelve Saturdays and. Um, you know, each game is very special. Each game is a championship game for us. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we go out there and have the same mentality and play to a standard. And, you know, if we do that, every every game is going to be exciting and fun and uh, we're going to feel like a championship game. What kind of test is this week when it, it's a slightly shorter week, you're coming off the high of the Louisville game, and it is a road environment, and then BC is definitely a defense but uh, just getting rest. Uh, that's the key. Getting rest, catching up on film, and uh, taking care of your bodies. That's the that's the main thing. You know, going into this week, and uh, just making sure that you're prepared. You know, for a battle. Um, you know, each team we play is gonna you know give a hundred you know hundred percent to you know try to beat us. And so uh, we just gotta be ready to you know go out there for a battle and for a war and, and go out there and do what we do. Was the, the way the offense was so balanced Saturday night? Could that be kind of jumping off the point? This offense. Um, yeah, it's a start. Um, you know, we still yet to play our you know best football yet. Um, you know, on all on both sides of the ball, defense and offense. And and once we do that, you know, it's going to be you know very special. Um, it's a, a lot of good things that happen, a lot of bad things that we're going to you know correct and, and move on from. And um, you know, it's just a starting point of you know just keep you know trying to improve each and every week. We saw your uh, two touchdown passes, Deion Kane second quarter. Was there anything on film that you saw, you know, saying, oh, we can go attack this corner back on a deep route, or was it just something that just happened on the uh, those guys are just out of place, and you know, Dion just made plays. He just ran by the guys, and um, you know, my job is to find the open guy and get the ball to him, and you know, that's all I did. The offensive line has come under fire a little bit because of the, the running game. Uh, slow start there, first few games, but uh, they've done a great job protecting you. No sacks again on Saturday. Um, have they improved in their pass protection from last year? Of course, you know the, the thing is they're just communicating and and that chemistry and bond that they have is it's been great. Uh, you know those guys give me enough time to make plays and get the ball to the, our, our playmakers. And you know I, I I really think that they're not getting enough credit. You know to what they're doing. You know running the game, uh, running the ball, and and also pass protection. So um, you know those are the 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 head guys of this offense. You know, they they're the ones that make this offense go. Um, because it starts up there with them, and Jay's doing a good job of leading those guys, and you know everyone's been on the same page of um, you know taking what they've been doing, you know, throughout practicing and, and you know executing on the um, you know Saturdays. You were hurt uh, two years ago in Boston. Looking forward to playing in the city stadium. Of course, uh, I'm looking forward to playing uh, each and every week. Um, you know, it'll be exciting and um, it'll be fun to you know, go up there and, and play in that stadium in, in that great environment. What did you learn about this team on Saturday night? Um, nothing really. Um, we just I already knew that we was you know a team full of champions and, and we all believe and you know that's one of the, the big things where uh, you know Coach Sweeney always preaches is you know believe and, and believe that you can do it and. Um, you know, we knew that we was going to win the game. You know, we just got to, you know, go out there and execute and make plays, and that's what we did. You've got a handful of receivers already that have had big games. How good was it to see and get uh, Dion involved and kind of see him finally have a breakout performance? It's good um, just to see all the guys making plays. But, you know, Dion just, you know, seeing him, you know, be, you know, the elite player that he is and, you know, go out there and make plays and have the opportunity and taking advantage of it. And, you know, it just kind of, you know, sparks, you know, all the receivers and all the skilled guys. How much does a win like Saturday's help you build momentum, build confidence going into the rest of the year? Um, every win is, is a momentum uh, builder, uh, confidence builder, um, just because, you know, it's another win and, you know, the great things that you did and you found a way to, you know, get that W and move on. So, um, you know, it's a 
great boost, uh, you know, going to this week and, and just, you know, continue to, you know, take control of what we can control and, um, and you know, keep the, the pedal down. Do you think next, do you think last year's experience of following the Notre Dame win with the season kind of, you guys can draw on that going forward that you know how to put big games like this into perspective and keep grinding? Uh, yeah, I mean, just each game is, we, we always, no matter how big the, the competition is or how big the game is or who we're playing against, you know, we always celebrate after the win and, and then we just move on uh, because, you know, each week is a, a season of its own. And, you know, we have to, we understand that we have to put in a word throughout the week, no matter who we're playing to, to get the W on Saturday. Um, so, you know, anybody can be beaten any, any, any given day. So, um, you know, we just always have to put in the work and, and earn it. Uh, next up will be Coach Elliott.